You may have heard that Jira and Confluence are getting a new user interface or UI soon. It's currently in beta, and so I'm going to give you a chance to learn all about it, including the differences between the old and new UI, as well as some new customization options you're going to get to make it easier to use. Before we jump into the UI though, let's quickly talk about why it's changing. Companies like Atlassian spend a lot of time determining the best way to display information and buttons and navigation menus to users. I have to trust that they have put in the homework and done the effort to figure out the best way to display these menu items. So for many people like myself, it's a little bit frustrating that they're in a different spot and they look different. However, I have faith that groups like Atlassian do the research and put in the best effort to make it as strong as possible. So please keep in mind that while it might be frustrating for a bit as you relearn new habits or things look different, it's probably for the best because it's going to help set us up for success later. That said, definitely keep a critical eye and when you can send feedback and engage with the new changes to make sure you fully understand them. So with that out of the way, let's jump in and see what the differences are. Here I am in Jira Cloud Premium and up at the top, we'll see this navigation bar. This is the old navigation bar and what many of us are used to. Along the top, I've got a button to go back to my homepage. I've got my work, my projects, and different menus that I can use to navigate and use the system. Now I mentioned that the UI update is in beta, so you might see this option up at the top that says go to settings. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to scroll down to find new navigation. Here I have the option to turn it on just for myself, so I get to preview it. I highly recommend you take a minute to go do this just so you can see what it looks like. During the beta period, you will be able to turn this off to go back to the old navigation, but eventually they're going to force everyone over to it. Now that I've made this change, I'm just going to go back to one of my projects and then I'll refresh the screen. This is only necessary because I've turned it on just for myself. Once it's live, you won't have to refresh like this. However, you'll notice up at the top, most of the navigation menu items are gone. They've been replaced by the Jira menu and the same Rubik's cube to switch sites or apps and a giant search bar. I like the search bar because it makes it much easier for folks to see where the search bar is to find things. For me, that's one of the biggest challenges. So I like this update. The biggest change you'll notice is on the left. This is where all of the other menu items have gone. And you'll notice they're roughly in the same order, but there's been some additions and changes. Now, the nice thing for me about this is if I go to the bottom, I have the ability to customize it. I can come in here and I can turn off certain items that I don't want. Prior to this update, everyone had the same list of menu items. So maybe I don't need to see plans or apps, or maybe I don't care about operations or assets. I can quickly just click save changes and you'll notice that my menu bar is now a bit cleaner. I don't have those options. Instead, they get moved under this more menu. So they're available if I need them, but they aren't cluttering up space. For me, this is like turning off those extra features in Confluence we don't use. You can also reorganize where these are. So if you want them in a different order, you can click and drag or click the more actions item and then select what you want to do with them. So I highly recommend once this new change is live, make time to customize your own menu, but also tell your team about this. Some menus also have additional options. For example, under projects, I can change the view and only show my starred projects. This is another great enhancement because it means only the things I want to see will be displayed instead of seeing a list of all possible projects. Again, it's on the left-hand side. It's a little bit different because I look over here instead of up here. However, I get a lot more customization options and I can make it more useful for me instead of the whole team being stuck on it. Now, if you want to turn this off during the beta period, you can just go up to settings and look for general settings. This will be on the first screen and scroll down and you'll find that same exact new navigation section. And you can just uncheck the box. You can provide feedback or not. I always recommend providing it if you're turning it off for some reason. And then when you go back to Jira and refresh, the UI will turn back to the old one. Again, this is only possible during the beta period. After this is live for everyone, we'll all be stuck on that new UI. So definitely worth time to investigate and see what it looks like. Now I am in Confluence Cloud Premium and we're gonna see the same exact thing. During the beta period, I'll have this go to settings menu at the top. And if you'll notice, I'm on the old user interface. I have my menu items across the top of the page, general Confluence homepage, my company hub, and other menus that I expect to always see up here. 
To turn this on in Confluence for the beta period, all I have to do is go to Settings and look for the new navigation. Now you'll notice this is a different menu because I'm in a different system. Jira has it under General Settings. It lives under Configuration New Features in Confluence though. So to turn this on, I'll just turn it on just for me. And now when I go back to Confluence and refresh, I'll see the new user interface. And you'll notice it's very similar to Jira. Up at the top, I have the Rubik's Cube to switch between apps and sites. I can go back to my Confluence homepage, but that search bar is now front and center. It's very hard to miss. And just like in Jira, I think this is a great change because it means people will be more likely to find the search bar. I know it sounds silly, but it can be easy to miss it. And many people I work with don't know it's there. The Create button is still at the top, so we can always quickly make content. And over on the left, you'll see the same menu items that were at the top in the old interface. And they're in roughly the same order. Now, if I click More, you'll see some additional menu items. I can see Teams. Drafts is also its own menu item. I like this because I tend to make drafts and forget to publish them. So here I can click on this and quickly see my drafts and just see what I've left hanging out there. I can also though customize this sidebar. And just like in Jira, this for me is very useful. You'll notice it looks a little bit different. Instead of ticking boxes, I just drag things above or below this line and they'll be removed from the sidebar. But this is great for individuals who don't want to clutter up their screen. All they have to do is take a few minutes to get rid of things they don't need or to pull things up that they do need. So it's always worth a few minutes to customize it. Now, these little carrots on the side will give you an additional menu to see what is starred. So you can quickly look through things, you can search, and same is true for spaces. So it makes it a little bit easier to find some of these menus because they're off to the side, easy to expand, and you can also change the width of the bar if you need to. And just like in Jira, if you need to turn this off, you can go back to settings, scroll down, and turn it off for yourself. Again, this is only possible during the beta period. Eventually, we will all be forced to move from this old interface into the new one. So that is a quick walkthrough of the new user interface in Jira and in Confluence. It is still in a beta test period, so I'll encourage you to turn it on and play with it, and then turn it off if you don't want to keep using it. That said, we'll all end up on this new user interface soon, so it is worth taking time to go practice and play with it, but also understand how you can customize and configure it. Make sure it works for you as best as possible. I'm very curious, though, what you think of these UI updates and how you use Jira and Confluence. Drop a comment below with your tips and tricks or your confusions or frustrations, and I'd love to respond and learn with you. Also, if you have a minute, please like and subscribe. That lets me know that this is good content and I should make more of it. And if you have ideas for something you want to learn, drop a comment too. That's very helpful. Thank you so much for learning with me, and I really hope to see you in one of these again very soon. Me again. Thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.